Oh, dude, I can't, I can't land this. Oh my God, let's come on. Holy. Oh my God! Huge bass today, huge bass. What's up, YouTube? Today we find ourselves at a juicy little honey hole out in Plano, Texas, and we're with the man, Nick Folio, drummer from Bad Omens, as well as Brandon. Y'all might know him as that bass fishing dude. I'm gonna leave his social medias down in the description, don't you worry. We got homie over here who's hooked up. Check him out. Just reeling a bass over the top. I caught my first one of the day, and then we got even, we got homie Joe over here on the far end. He's throwing a crankbait, but I think what's working right now is the bottom bait. So I'm gonna go ahead and I think we're gonna tie on a jig for Nick right here and get him locked and loaded, ready for the big ones. He already caught one on the Jackal Gantrail swim bait. Y'all got an exciting episode. Stay tuned. Do you wanna throw it? I got this thing going too. I looped it. Okay, good. Yeah, going on. It's my buddy Brody. Nice to meet you, man. Nick. What's up, homie? You all right? Yes, sir, always. What's going on, man? Weston. Oh, you better throw that, that gantrail on there? Yeah, I think so. Why not? Right? You know, anytime we're down here playing, you guys are more than welcome to come hang out. Arizona. You been to Arizona? Yeah. It's hot out there, man. It's going to be a long drive. It's definitely my favorite thing besides the drums. You know what I mean? When you get really in depth with it, it's like, man, I got a bait caster like a week before this tour started, and I'm loving it. I'm used to open reel, but that, that thing cranks. Oh, fish on, boys. No, man. No I told you, bro. No way. Uh, go, baby. Woohoo! There you go. Let's go. Just cast it along the bank right here in front of this grass and paused it, like you said, man, and it tore it up. Money. Dudes, Nick linked up with his first one on the Gantrell Jr., that big old swim bait. Let me see. What are we working with over here? Bam! 1.5 ounce bluegill imitation. He smacked it right along the bank here. He said, fish on! <laughs> Thanks for the fun, man. See ya, buddy. Uh, yeah, I think my biggest one is probably two. Back home, yeah. you called that one. I might do a couple more casts with this, and then if you want to try something else, I'm down. Yeah. Or if you want to give this yeah. a shot. We'll, we'll do a jig next, I think. Okay. That's what I'm talking about, Nick. <laughs> Thanks, man. It's, I think it was rolling already. Is it? Is it Y'all, let me tell you what did it. That black and blue slim shake. Yeah. Texas rig, boys. Man, I was wondering to myself, are they out by the fountains? Maybe they're out deep. You know, it's summertime. They might not always just be up shallow. I went ahead and I threw the worm right out here. It's not really a fountain, but there's definitely some flow. Thinking maybe that oxygenated water might keep these things active during the midday heat. It is uh, 12 noon, about 85 degrees and cloudy. And uh, we pulled out a solid, I'd say, two and a half. He's pretty hefty, pretty thick fish right here. Check that thing out. Dude, look at that monster. Yikes. Go ahead, kid. Woo. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> All right, let's grab some more. <laughs> this thing's pretty neat. If you want to use this, by all means. I, just, I would just say, just keep walking the bank and casting it in different areas, and you're bound to get in front of the right one. Um, this is on low battery. Let's fix that. So I go through the island. Yep. <laughs> okay, so now what you're gonna do, I'm gonna pull a little bit more line through as with this. You're good now, you can let it go. Take both pieces of line, and you're gonna wanna wrap it around a finger and pull them. And it's just like, it's time consuming at first, you're trying to learn how to do the, the whole deal. But once you get used to it, it's like the through it's the like, It's through, like the normal loop, knot idea. Go over, yeah, okay. it's, I'm telling you, it's, yeah, and you'll, you'll like it. Like this thing, this knot is just awesome. First time ever tying a Palomar knot on the channel with Nick Folio. We're rolling. Okay. All right, see. Yep. Oh, dude. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. He's feisty. He did not want to be caught. There's a solid one on the jig right there. That is what's up. Nick is linking up with the bottom bait, so we just got to get Joe on a fish, and then we've all hit something with the Texas rig, essentially. He's throwing that jig. Extra dope. Damn. Solid, bro. Thank you, brother. You gotta be a little patient with these ones. Yeah, for sure. You're working this one a lot slower than the last couple baits. And uh, man, he's rocking some gear today. The new SLX DC. Ooh, Which I'm probably guys... gonna pick one of those. Uh, yeah, he's, he's, he's loving this reel, man. And it's cool that it's left-handed because it's, uh, 
you know, you just cast it and you keep it in your left hand, at, or I'm sorry, you cast it, but you can keep the reel in your same hand and just start reeling right away. Yeah. That's kind of the appeal with the left-handed reels, whether you're right or left-handed, there's really no right or wrong way to do it, just whatever feels more comfortable. And look at what he's rocking, the Trash Master Jig, Catch Co Lure. This is those new Trash Masters. Gotta go over there to Shop Carl's and pick some of those up. You can actually save 30% on all your bait and tackle from Carl's. I'll link them in the description. And of course, we got the Guggen baits on there. Carl's is also the number one place to stock up on the Kraken Cross, $4.19 a pack. You ain't gonna pay five, six, or seven bucks, man. You're gonna get them for the cheapest price around. And you'll be catching hogs like Nick right here. Bam! At first, I was like, I'm probably hooked to a tree or something. I was wondering if you thought that. Feel it out. Hooked up the tree, bro. Yeah, so he's saying just like, go for it. Like, you see the thing is- Don't be scared if, to set the I hook, basically. I think I have a fish and I set the hook and the, and the line goes, that's fine. Okay. If you got a big one, then that's that. That's what's good for the video okay. right there. We got one on boys. Oh dude, this is oh dude, I can't I can't land this. Bro, I can't here, let some drag. Let some line out. Oh my god, let some line out. Holy. All right, let's walk them around this way. Just keep your, keep your pole tight. All, All right. right. <sighs> keep your pole tight. Uh. There we go, boy. Oh. There we go, boy. Oh, 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 oh. Pig, That's four pounds oh plus, brother. God. That's a huge one. Oh my God. That's what I'm talking about. Nick with the new PB guaranteed, man. We got to get this thing on the scale. That, man. Come to Texas, baby. That's how we get down Texas out here, man. Roots, man. <laughs> Yo. All right. What are we looking at? Yo. Oh, let's see. That's a four that's pounder. A that's a four pounder. That's a four pounder. Yo. Oh my God. I got you right here. A Story? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna post that. Do you want to tag or put anything on there? Or you just uh, want to send it. Tag, tag the boys. Tag you. All right, hold what on. Don't. There we go, baby. That's what it's all about, right there, bro. Guys, thank you so much. Man. Yeah. I, mean, I haven't sent that one yet, so it's of already recorded. Course, but that's man. a solid freaking one, bro. crazy. I don't think it's been five minutes. Freaking nuts. Yeah, yeah. Tell me, tell me about it. Tell me about it. So solid, I cast it out towards the fountain, reeled it in kind of fast because I thought, you know, I didn't want to. I wanted to avoid the wires or whatnot let it drop and then the moment it the, literally as soon as I was going up and it fell that thing ate it so fast and it was on you knew you had them I knew I had them <laughs> oh my god I set god. the hook and that was it biggest bass of his life man what are we gonna do we gotta catch a five now like yeah. this is ridiculous yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let's get him here we go here we go same that was just his big brother come over here come over here come over here oh my god <laughs> huge bass today huge bass Brandon Get it, bring it over, bring it over, bring it over. Oh my god, dude, that could be four as well. Keep it tight, keep it tight. Oh, get him, Brandon. Texas, baby. No way. Oh, no go, way. Got us another pin. Yo. <laughs> On the bandito, boy. Oh my god. Natural bandito bug fire today. No Let's way. Go, yeah, scale yeah. Just in case. So. Yeah, no, we're weighing this one. Bro. Let's go. Back to back. Oh, baby. <laughs> Yo. Oh, yeah, baby. Give him a kiss, man. That's what it's all about. <laughs> Super right sick. There, baby. Hold that. That's you. No way. It's almost four. Ooh. It's almost four. There we go. Dude. Woo. That's what I'm talking about. Two oh, ounces wow. away from four pounds. That's almost a four pound bass by your boy Joe over here. Super sick, man. Let's Congrats. Go, dude, dude. Let's go Give ahead and up. get that release, man. Let's go ahead and get that release. Big ones there by everybody today. Dude, back to back, <laughs> back to back fours. <laughs> this doesn't happen, man. This doesn't happen. All right, time to get the bandito back in there. That's the natural color bandito bug, Texas rig, three eighths ounce weight, four out worm hook for y'all at home. And I believe this is the 17 pound fluorocarbon on the Scorpion MGL and that 7.2 medium heavy rigged rod. Your boy's laying it down. Woo! Got one, fish on. Oh no, dude. Oh, no way he came off. Yeah. 
took the bait too. Damn it. Brody's got two. <laughs> Boom, son, that's a banger. Uh, he's, he's on the move. Weston. Me and my buddy are in a band. We're on tour right now. Uh, Bad Omens. I think we're about to wrap it up, y'all. It's been a killer day. We got new PBs all around, but I think the bite has slowed down. I don't know what the deal is, but uh, we had some fun out here today, ladies and gents. Let's get one more cast in. Otherwise, we're going to catch y'all on the next episode. Appreciate the view. Holler at your boys on social media down in the description, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace. The whole goal was to catch a fish and then walk through the birds with the fish, but I think... <laughs>